what's up guys welcome back again i'm your boy be this adam's link are you not there welcome back again to another crazy video please try as much as possible support your boy like this video comment share it on all social media platforms follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam's link media don't forget to subscribe and click that bell notification to get update anytime i upload so do you agree with this st statement this is what someone said he said 95 percent of Nigeria female bankers are serial cheaters. They usually get their employment letter in a hotel room. 95% of Nigeria female bankers are serial cheats. They usually get their employment letter in hotel's room. Do you believe or do you agree with that statement that 95% of our Nigeria female bankers who they are all cheaters, they sleep around with their boss? That whenever they want to get their own hotel room and uh, get their own employment, they usually get it in hotel rooms. One thing that I believe in is see, it depends on the profession. When it comes to Nigeria, all workforce in Nigeria for females. I don't know, but the things that I've seen in my own workplace, I can see like ugh, some some ladies don't have self respect. Some ladies don't have self-respect. A time we come in this country called Nigeria, ladies, women will be more employed than the men. Women will be more employed than the men because of what these women can offer. It's not what they can offer academically, it's what they can offer with their body. Well, guys, if you accept, if you agree with that statement, simply leave your comment below. And uh, of course, I'm just going to be talking about all those few few things because there's no much about social media, entertainment stuff that I want to talk about. Today is not about entertainment. It's about picking things that has to do with our daily life and of course, learning from it. And uh, this is what someone said. He said, my girlfriend, my girlfriend I want to propose to this year just broke up with me because she asked me for 10k for her to flex on january 1st and i didn't send her whoa seriously just whoa well if your girlfriend break uh, broke up with you simply because of 10k it's not uh, it's not your fault i think she 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 she's already fed up maybe she has been asking you for money and you have been dulling her that's why she decided to break up because i don't see why a girl will be breaking up with you simply because of uh 10k maybe she has been asking 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 and you are not giving her and you know nigeria girl will be like okay if i don't ask you if you don't give me where do you want me to get it go and walk that's how they're going to say they say ah you are my boyfriend now if you don't give me you will give me go and walk my girl you have you have all god has given you all everything to work for your own money why are you speaking such a statement but that is what they usually say that uh, if you don't give me who you want me give me well guys well girl go and walk and this is what the lady says a woman that doesn't have up to 500k in her account doesn't deserve a man a woman who doesn't have up to 500k in our account don't deserve a man i think it's about time we guys whenever we want to date we be like okay don't check it man you don't have up to 500k in your account we are go that way i don't want to date you it's about time we start putting that enforcement guys what do you guys think man let us enforce it let us enforce it if you don't have up to 500k in your account then move ahead we 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 don't want to date you and that is coming from a police officer he said police officer who rejected 864 million bribe resigned after being denied permission promotion multiple times he said his chief superintendent of nigeria police who said he once rejected 864 million bribe has reportedly resigned from the profession over claims that he has been denied promotion more than twice speaking he said I have witnessed my junior get promoted over me over and over again and it hurts deeply. I file a complaint, asked for ratification of my promotion date and was even investigated with the outcome verified in my favor. Yet nothing has been done to redeem the situation. I have wasted 30 years serving my fatherland. 
this profession i once called the noble ones doesn't care about those of us who tend the path of honor and dignity this is a police officer rejected 800 and something million naira and he has been writing for promotion his junior were being promoted and he will file a complaint they investigated and the investigation came out on his own favor and yet nothing has been done he's lamenting now that he's wasted he has even admitted that he has wasted 30 years serving his fatherland well in this country we already know we already know what's going on in this country once you don't belong once you don't dance according to the old tune they're going to fling you out that's just how it is it's painful it's really really painful but that's just how it is that's just how it is and be why you guys know this actress uchi british showing up their body no sexiness online but see there are some kind of sexiness you, you don't show online no. so i'm not disputing it or i'm not trying to uh, discriminate out but she ended up posting this picture recently and this is what she got she got a lot of backlash somebody said please you are a mother what will you tell your daughter when she see this this your picture in the internet and someone said please take off this post another person responded saying that such heart should not come from you it's shameful please take off this post for dignity's sake well guys uh check out this picture if you see anything wrong with it let me know and then guys i want to talk about this boarding school this guy who was molested in boarding school called out uh, deeper life boarding school well a mother his mother is not giving up all. his mother is already asking for 100 million naira compensation and again his, his, his mother has made a video of the guy narrating exactly what went on in that school so I'm going to leave you with this video, so try as much as possible to like this video, comment, share it on all social platforms, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam's Link Media, don't forget to subscribe, and click that bell notification to get updated and turn my upload. Have a wonderful day guys. Bye. Enjoy. 11. 11 what? 11 years old. 11 years old. When did you have your last birthday? September 6th. September 6th. When? September 6th was your last birthday eh? yeah. you turned 11 september 6th yeah. good now um when were you admitted into deeper life high school october speak up october 8th october again eight october 8th now from here now start talking tell nigeria your experience in deeper life from october 8th oh yeah when i go to deeper they are not hearing you when I got to the Palaver School, because I ate bed wet, Mr. Appman used his belt on me. Anything he sees, iron, belt, stick, or he can even use stone, sir. Stone? Okay. Because I bed wet, they now put Be me, loud, be loud. They now um, transfer me from the SS1 dormitory to SS1. Mm. Who authorized the transfer? Mrs. Ndidi told um, Mr. Joseph Ikenna to, to transfer me from JSS1 dormitory to SS1. Okay. Then there was two boys named Ola and Shalom. Call their name again. Ola and Shalom. Okay. They used to put their hand inside my anus. They used to put my hand, their hand inside my anus, bring out food and use that same man. And Nigeria did not hear you clear. Be loud. They used to put my, the, my, their hand inside my anus and they would bring out um, feces for my anus and it would be doing me somehow. They would use that same hand and beat me. And for two weeks I have not beaten. Go ahead and talk. So, did you report to anybody when this happened? No. Why didn't you report to Ndidi or uh, Principal? Uh, or vice principal or house head headmaster why didn't you report to them because they said they will kill me if i report to anybody who said they will kill you if you report Ola and Shalom. who is this Ola and Shalom in school don't worry i know i'm not a student i won't know their name so don't laugh me so that people will not join you and laugh me who is this Ola and Shalom 
The SS1 student. Are they seniors? Yes. And the housemaster does not know that they were doing that to you? Yes. Why didn't he know? He doesn't he sleep with you people? He sleeps with us. What time do they normally do this putting hand in your... So when they put hand in your enus, do you stand or you bend? I bend. They ask you to bend? Yes. Then they will put hand in your enus? Yes. When they put hand, how does your body do you? It does, it does me as if I want to... I want to pull. Nigeria is not hearing you. I want to pull. He does you as if you want to... Pull. You want to pull? Yes. When they do that, is it in the morning time, at the bedroom, or the toilet, or what time did they do these things to you? 12 o'clock, when everybody has slept. 12 o'clock, when everybody has slept? Yes. Headmaster too will sleep? Yes. I mean, what do you call him? Principal. No, no, the one that used to stay in the hostel. Um, hostel master. Hostel ma hey, hosted master will sleep too? Yes. You won't know what will happen? Yes. And you never try to report to them? Yes. Now, your vice principal told me on the 15th I came that I said I had a dream. Your vice principal told me that he wants to call you and ask you why you are walking and you're uh, like you are walking and you open your leg to walk like a woman. Why didn't you see 